what is up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Jemima or you can call me Jem Jem something really funny happened to me today I already started telling the story on snapchat I was like nah nah nah, nah let's scrap that and tell the full story so open to my youtube channel because and if you guys can already tell, yes, I have a ring light. <laughs> this story is funny, but first, before we get into the whole video or whatnot, something just happened to me less than five hours ago. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I'm a stripper. <laughs> less than three, less than two hours ago, to be honest. And I felt like I should give a story time. Let it be my official first story time on YouTube. And the reason why I'm also eager to give the story time is because you guys already noticed the elephants in the room. Even though you guys have seen it on my WhatsApp, for those of you on my WhatsApp, and if you have not, like, if you are not on my WhatsApp and you haven't seen it, yeah, I got my hair dead. It's all in a vlog that's coming up real soon. Might be up before this video or after this video, but anyhow, I'm going to chill and wait for that one because that vlog is nice. I have a lot of things in that vlog. So, but yeah, so basically. I got my hair did. I came back from the hairstylist some hours ago and yeah, that was when this whole thing happened to me. So I just decided to tell the story to you guys. But before we get into the story, definitely make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because this story is so funny, even to me, because it's like, I can't believe that happened, <laughs> that almost happened to me. <laughs> but it's like, I guess I was kind of smart enough to detect what was going on. But I was smart. I feel like anybody could have been able to tell that these people were not legit and whatnot. But let me just pride myself on the fact that I probably was smart. So, comment below other video suggestions you have for me. What you want me to talk about? What you want me to do on this channel? Because March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, I plan on posting twice every week. And you guys, I'm just saying it on here for you guys to hold me accountable. So if I don't post a video twice a week, please, if you know me personally, when you see me, you probably should um, hold my neck, you know, like, follow me on my social medias. They're going to be down in the description box. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this video. I joined Upwork, which is a freelancing platform for people that, you know, are freelancers to be able to render their services part-time, you know, for a stipulated amount of like time a week or a month whatever type of contract that is to clients you know that want these services so okay i have been working on upwork and i've banged like a couple of jobs on there and i've you know delivered and gotten paid i was like i need to put out more proposals because the more money i earn the more like job success rate i have the more people are more likely to you know give me job and give me jobs and invites me to apply for their jobs so i placed more proposals yesterday night and today this morning before i went to make my hair also so um i think i got motivated by the fact that last night i got contacted by this company and they want a social media manager for a short term basically so it's going to be less than 20 hours every week and it's freelancing so it's, uh, i will not say no to an opportunity like that to improve my skill set and you know have more experience that motivated me so i was like let me send out more proposals so i sent out more proposals and then today after i sent out proposals i got contacted by this one client and then first 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 to you people first and foremost the account payment method was not verified which is not a problem because maybe that's their first time hiring on upper so like, their payment method don't need to be verified they said they were in the us and um they were looking for a social media manager now this was the first flag is it a red flag because it looks more like burgundy to me your first red flag you're looking for a social media manager so why is your title saying social media manager why is the early media you don't know how to spell and you're in the u.s <laughs> i don't want to say that because i want to be like everybody in the u.s must know how to spell but no like there are just some things that are just awkward i guess but well it's only a red flag because eventually proved to be correct you know it could have been somebody else that just didn't you know how to spell well i guess so 
But even if, like, I mean, if it's the US, if, like, I beg you, I live in the US, you're supposed to know how to spell because if me, I want to travel to the US now, they'll be asking me for A, E, L, T, S, and TOEFL and all those bubble to bubble things. When me, I can speak English and spell very well. So please, 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 please. <laughs> But please ignore that. Like, that's just me catching crews, joking. The person said they want a social media manager. I was like, I'm just going to ignore this spelling error and apply for the job. Why did I say I'm, I wanted to apply for the job? Because the payment was $700. It was a fixed price. So I was like, okay, at the end of the job, it will be $700. But the person came and told me that it's $700 a week. And I was like, do you know what $700 is a week for social media manager? It wants, it wants to give me, but I didn't really think about it once again because I was like, person wants an expert. Me, I'm just, I'll call myself entry level because I don't really have like that much experience. I just have, I guess, a little bit of skill. I would like to call it a little bit of skill. So I don't call myself an expert, but someone advised me not to not to like look at those titles or labels whenever I'm applying for jobs. I should just apply as long as I know that, okay, this is something I can handle. And nobody's really going to come and be asking me, are you an expert or an intermediate level or entry level? I applied for the job. I was like, if I bag it, fine. If I bag it, if I don't bag it, I mean, it's cool. I've not bagged a lot of jobs in the past. The person reached out to me. The person in. I'm going, I'm even going off track. I'm like missing points. Maybe because I'm just telling this up top of my head and I am like, I didn't write down points anyway. The job posting said, My name is Courtney Weaver. Now, how do they spell Courtney? C O U R T N E Y. This person said, C O R T N E Y. Okay, I was like, ah, red, red flag. But it looks just like, it looks just like, it looks more like Burgundy to me, you know? So I was like, no, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. So I, you know, still ignored that. I was like, no, I'm just going to ignore it, you know? Like most of us women do. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore it, you know? So I ignored it and Courtney River was discussing with me. Courtney Weaver said I should come to WhatsApp and message their American number. So the American number granted so we can discuss on there. So I messaged the American number. I messaged the American number. <laughs> Why am I calling American number? I messaged the number and then the person started talking with me. Trusty Tabby is here. I'm going to be putting the Kiniko Kiniko here like on this place so you guys can read along with everything that happened. I reached out to the person as they asked me to on WhatsApp. I was like, oh, my name is Jemima Isang, blah, 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 blah. I sent like a formal letter, I guess. And the person was like, good morning, everyone. Nice to meet you. And how are you doing this morning? And I hope you can do the job. <laughs> do you know now, in the moment, yeah, whenever this message is popped in, I was like, what's really happening? But I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not going to judge the book by school, but I'm just going to ignore you know, now I actually understand what goes through the mind of women that are in abusive relationships because of money. Because I swear, I was just, the reason why I was overlooking on this thing was because I was like, they probably will pay me this money. You get like they probably will pay me this money, so I'm just going to ignore. Like maybe the person is just not good with English. You get, you dig, you get right. That was the reason why I did not really care. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I didn't want to miss any financial benefits that I probably would have gotten from doing the job you get or maybe be rude or something so good morning everyone that's a red flag meaning it's not just me that are sending this message to see let me tell you people something in the moment I was skeptic about like everything I was like why is this person sound like this why is like what's really happening why is this person source off but I was just like no I'm not going to really dip it like that because maybe I'm just overthinking. It wasn't this funny back then, but now it's like, it's so funny. I'm like, I can't believe I actually ignored this. So the person said, how are you doing this morning? And I hope you can do the job. Straight to the point, Mr. Asi or Mrs. Miss Courtney Weaver. Straight to the point, you know. I was like, yes, I can, but I'll need the details of the job first, along with other discussions we need to have before we commence because I cannot just come and start work for you when I don't even know everything. I'm going to need details of the job. I'm going to need to confirm your organization. I'm going to get your website, your LinkedIn profile. I'm going to have to do some background checks because I'm not going to go and enter a trap. 
you get he was like good i will with one l will i would like you to know that this job is all about post my property details online such as facebook and craigslist with other apartment sites and it's the weekly pay which we'll be getting oh my god i can't believe i ignored all this <laughs> which we'll be getting one thousand dollars in two weeks time and we were making a post <laughs> what two pay day not even per day two pay day i'm like all right i could do that definitely the application said seven hundred dollars a week though i mean it might look like i like money but then who doesn't like money he's like i'm about to do a job for you so i'm going to let you know what to put on your application and if you if you tell me oh that was just for the application i want us to like reach a bargain i would have agreed you get so i said the application said 700 dollars a week though he said sounds good why am i saying he said she said she said sounds good yes of course i'm like so that's 1400 dollars in two weeks she was like correct so i said okay could i get paid on a weekly basis because this one you're coming to tell me one thousand four hundred dollars in two weeks i work by milestone so when i complete a milestone you pay me i know i can complete a milestone in one week a milestone is really one week because you want me to make two posts for you per day seven days a week seven hundred dollars you get so it's like a milestone is a week so i work in milestone so can i get paid after each milestone which is on a weekly basis, he said, all you got to do is post my houses on Facebook Marketplace for viewers to see and apply and get paid for your service. Can you do that? I don't know if people use Facebook Marketplace in the US to even apply for houses like they Oh my God, they don't have no real estate agent. They don't have no real thoughts that is in their community. That was the scam zone, but I didn't really even dip it. At the point, like... This thing was 4 p.m. What's the time now? The time now is 5.47. That's like less than three hours ago. He said, and it's a weekly payment of $700 via PayPal or Western Union, any of your choice. So let me know if you're available to start now so we can proceed ASAP because I need the job done. ASAP, no Rocky. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I can definitely do that. But, you know, I have my calls like... We met on Upwork. I applied on Upwork. So could we work through Upwork? So every new week, we begin a new milestone. And I get paid at the end of the week. Now let me tell you my thoughts process behind this whole thing. I was already thinking, I was like, this person is beginning to sound sus, act sus. So um, it's like, we're going to have to work through Upwork. Because on Upwork, where we start the milestone, they take the money from his account and keep it in escrow. So basically the money is just there and then when i complete the work and he approves the work or she approves the work they will send me my money and if i don't complete the work the person can you know report that oh this person has bad manners blah, 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 and then i won't get the money which is fine by me because i know i will do the work well i really don't mind because i know that on upwork because i've made less than um, 500 dollars on the platform and i just started like in feb this feb february last february that's february i knew that okay upwork is going to take 20 percent of that money which i think eventually i would get 580 dollars but i didn't really care like i don't want you to send me no money to paypal because you send me the money to paypal if it was legit you send me the money to paypal i'll collect 700 dollars back but the possibility of me collecting that money versus me actually collecting 580 dollars from upwork the possibility of getting my money from upwork is higher you get because the person could block me the person after i do my work person can block me and then my work have go like that i've gone and stress my mind and stay awake in the night to be doing work for somebody that block me so i wanted to get my money to upwork even though i knew that okay upwork would take 120 dollars from the money so but i didn't want to say all that because i didn't want to be rude so i said could i walk through upwork in case you have a lot to do because the person in their distance said they are a therapist and a realtor agent so i was like in case you have a lot to do and you forget to make the payment on time so that it will be automated like i've already explained the whole automation thing the whole escrow thing but that was i just wanted to just tell like just not be rude get yeah. case it was legit i didn't want to offend mrs courtney river and she was like here yeah, will be good for me yeah, shut it down. Yeah, we'd be good for me. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, now something is really up. So I was like, all right, so how how soon do I start? The person's like, now, can you do that? What the hell? 
So I'm like, oh yes, I can. So where is the company based? Is there a website I can look at? Now at this point, I had already gone on Safari. I had already searched for Courtney Weaver. I saw there was a Courtney Weaver. I was a journalist. I searched Courtney Weaver, a realtor agent. I would even add like search history. I searched that, but I was like, something is really up <laughs> because I had heard that some Nigerians used to get like American numbers. I don't know the whole process behind this thing. I really hate Yahoo, so I don't even know like their updates or how they move and shit like that. I just know that if I see a scam, I would get suspicious and I probably would find out like I found out this less than three hours. I checked Courtney Weaver, realtor agent. She had a website, so I was like, okay. So I checked the website. I went down to the bottom of the website because you guys know the about us and contact information of a company is usually at the bottom of the website. So I went and I checked it and I saw that the number that was there is not the number that I'm chatting with. So I was like, is it a red flag? Cause it looks more like Bergundi to me. So I was like, mm, maybe I'm chatting with the person's personal number. You know, maybe this is their office line. You get. I went. I checked which country and state has the number plus one bracket two zero two, and it showed that that was like Washington D.C. in the U.S. Now. I think while I was still doing all this thing, that was when this message came in. After this, is there a website I can look at? This person sent me a message, and at the beginning of the message says, address 5327 Harrison Street, Kansas City. Basically, Kansas City with a P.O. box. But in Kansas, bro, I know that Kansas and Washington, they're not even in the same place. They're not even close to each other. Because I watch YouTube. I watch YouTubers. I watch YouTubers that grew up in Kansas. I watch YouTubers that grew up in Washington. Washington DC is around that Virginia, Maryland side, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the place they call the DMV, like those areas. Kansas is not close to that place. Kansas is more in the south where there is, I don't know, I'm not sure, but like it should be around this whole Philadelphia, Tennessee type people. So I know that Kansas and Washington are not in the same place. So, Auntie, who are you trying to deceive and tell that you are? Courtney Weaver and you are using Washington DC number, you are sending me address that says Kansas City. <laughs> Let's say it's a mumu. <laughs> oh boy, I don't be mumu. In fact, I took get sense. <laughs> Said no go tear my shirt, push me for gutter. <laughs> At that point, here yeah, I already figured out that okay, this was a scam. But in my mind, I was just like, I mean, there's a possibility here yeah, that. The person actually is from Kansas, but they have a Washington DC number probably because they live in Washington DC or they go there, they travel back and forth. Because I've worked with people that you know travel interstate in the US. I was like, there's a possibility of this, but I, I was already almost con like I was very I was like, this is a scam. This person is a scam, but I was like, up work. Scams don't reach up work, but apparently they are everywhere. So the person sent me the listings that I was supposed to make for today. Yeah. And then first one says, make yourself a home at this charming four bedroom home located in blah 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 blah. The spacious home features blah 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 blah. I didn't really care about all that. It says, contact our leasing agent for more info. Professionally managed by Pathlight Property contact number on. Pathlight Property. I thought you were Courtney Weaver. Courtney Weaver. The real Courtney Weaver has a website that says Courtney Weaver. She's not under any path light property, so what exactly are you trying to do, nigga? The second one says, three bed, South KC rental, look for more photos of this blah 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 blah, coming available in the South Plaza area. Moving costs include a one month rent, security deposit, $50 per application fee, $100 administration, administrative fee, and applicable pet fees. By applying, the applicant agrees to be enrolled and pay the applicable cost of $25 a month for the resident benefits package. Now, this was where I was like, this person is mad. This person has to be mad because first and foremost, like I already said, I watch YouTube. I watch YouTubers. Nobody gives you like clear figures of like, oh, how much they make, how much they pay for stuff. But I watch, I, I watch YouTubers that have, you know, a lot of followers that you know move out of their parents' house at 17, 18, 19, move into an apartment of two bedroom, one bedroom, and one bedroom gone safe. They pay at least five hundred dollars for application fee. 
I think I watched one today where she paid six hundred dollars for her application, like to apply for the apartment she wanted. Administrative. So it was like I just knew that okay, this person is a small yahoo boy because you are actually wanting fifty dollars, hundred dollars. Like you don't even want to just scam me. You also want to scam that people. Now you guys might be like, how is this scamming you? I'm going to get to that part real soon. You get. And it's like twenty five dollars for resident benefit package. Where is the benefit package? Like what, please? Like maple gym twenty five dollars, bro. You've got to be kidding me. The person said that's the details you need in posting it. I will send you the picture. This whole message the person sent me sounds professional and sounds you know sensible, but the person that is chatting sounds like they don't know English. So what's the tea? Spill the tea, sis, because you are a sis, right? But brisky not to pass that. I didn't say anything. I said, all right, I would need access to your social media accounts for this. I mean, if you are a brand, an organization that is a realtor agent, you should have on your social media account, I would need to do the posting bar. I said, you can use your account, it's not a problem. No, it's not a pro You can use your account, it's not a problem. Now, this is where the person wanted to scam me because let me tell you how it's going to go down. I would use my account, I would make the listings, they would call the person, the person will get scammed. Um, I don't know if the FCC might get involved in it or FBI. I really don't know because it looks like a small scam $100, $50, $25. But whichever law enforcement agency that would have gotten a hold of it would have come and look for me, the poster. So now I'd be like, I was working with them when I don't even know who the fuck they are. All from Upwork. Abby? All right, so I said, oh, I'm not the realtor, so I can't use my account. The person said, you are posting it on Craigslist. So I went and I checked Craigslist because I've never actually used Craigslist before to make any postings or anything. But I know people use it to post like restaurants, like they just use it to do listings and stuff. So I went and checked Craigslist and yes, I actually have to log in. I was like, yes, but I'll need your account to make the uploads because I mean, if you're a realtor agent and you want me to be posting for you, basically a virtual assistant type position. Then you should already have an account that you just hand over the login details to me and I do my job and then when I'm done I get paid. When we don't want to work together anymore, I delete your account from my phone. Like I don't even need your account for anything. So yeah, at this point I was like, okay, I'm going to call this number on WhatsApp because the people I work with on Upwork, I speak to them on WhatsApp, Google Meet and stuff. So I called the number. It rang, it rang, it rang for like 30 seconds or more. It was like the person wasn't going to pick, then the person picked. Tell me why they are playing Ozumba and Badi way in the background. Like, I'm literally here. I know there's more fun. My girl's not looking at sideways. Me and them come like us for child's play. Auntie Courtney, they listen to Ricardo Banks. I mean, you know who Ricardo Banks be. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this. And then I think some people were discussing in the background because I think the person was trying to. Maybe the person didn't like, I don't know, maybe the person just dumb, but they didn't tip that, okay, I'm Nigerian, even though I was discussing with them my Nigerian number. But maybe the person picked thinking that I would be dumb enough to just feel like, okay, maybe they listen to Ozumba, by the way. But the person didn't have said to tell the people in the back that they should reduce their voice because I was hearing your bad guys talking, discussing. I was like, what the fuck? These niggas wanna, these niggas wanna play me? So when I heard that, I just, um, I listened for a few seconds more. And then I ended the call. I ended the call. Yeah, I blocked the number, as you guys can see. I, like I actually, I actually wished I got that on camera because I actually screen recorded the whole like thing when I was calling, like hearing the Ozumba by the way. But when I played it back, there's no sound. So I guess you can't screen record WhatsApp calls. I guess I, I don't know. But that was what happened. So I blocked the number. I went to Upwork, flagged as inappropriate, reported that this account is a scam because bitches is a scammers. What did I just say? Bitches are scammers. Yeah. So I withdrew my proposal so I do not come and use my phone or my account and know that okay, I live in Lagos, Nigeria and come and find me. I withdrew my proposal. I flagged as inappropriate. I did everything I was supposed to because, bro, if there's anything I hate, I, like, I hate scam in my life. I hate just everything in me. Like, I hate it because I'm sure the person is scamming other people because the person said good morning every, everyone so it was like a broadcast message I guess so they are probably doing it to like tons of other people and I hope those other people like have deduced that that is a scam because if they have not, yes, it's to carry them, not me. 
But yeah, that was it. It was so funny. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I can't believe I almost fell for this. <laughs> I was ignoring the red flags. <laughs> But yeah, my hair, like my head, my hair is tight. My edges are way this cut out. But my hair is really tight, so I, I just got it done today. I look really cute though, it's really pretty. Yeah, pretty and whatnot. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you enjoyed the story time, if it made you laugh, if you felt I was stupid <laughs> for like chilling and keep like talking with the person it's miss or mr Courtney river let me know if you like story times because i have a lot of more story times for you guys i have i have a lot more story times for you guys not a lot of more i have a lot more story times for you guys definitely make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'm sure you enjoyed it you can't even tell me anything and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet like what are you even doing like why are you even doing this why why just tell me like just one se like one sentence in the comment section explain to me why you are doing this because I, I promise you if you don't want to see more of me now by august you want to see more of me and then you will not subscribe by that time i for no know you i feel no recognize you you know i'm not like that but <laughs> subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and comment below what other ideas you have for me and if you like story time so i can implement it more because i have a lot of stories to tell i promise a lot plenty plenty but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye